juggle uh, notebooks, mobile phones, uh, video recorders, photo cameras, GPS navigators, and whatnot, making sure that each of them is uh, functioning at the right time, and uh, then, of course, take care of whatever we have produced through them. But we already see some elements of uh, what is going to happen. Uh, a robotic vacuum cleaner uh, uh, that has been sold actually in uh, several million uh, units now, uh, and it is the uh, uh, widest uh, fusion uh, robot in, in homes uh, on the world, uh, if it is capable of perceiving when its battery is going down and finds its way back to the uh, power socket, uh, then it exhibits the kind of autonomy that we will have and bring to uh, higher and higher scales uh, with our uh, products and our networks and our devices. Now, the way that these uh, objects are linked together uh, is also going to be uh, rather different and it will exhibit new types of uh, behaviors and functionalities in the network itself. Um, the web, when it was born, uh, was typically uh, used for statical uh, uh, data, uh, communication and display. And uh, through the web, we gained access to the knowledge of the world. What we call Web 2.0, dynamic linking of human behavior through the internet, of preferences, of friendships, of likes or dislikes, uh, is a social application layer that is accessible uh, in a ubiquitous manner, uh, anytime, everywhere, uh, at the same level on the planet. So, we think that one of the greatest benefits of the spine networks is going to be uh, the similar uh, isotropic accessibility of the data layer of the world itself, which we dearly need. Uh, some of you might remember a few months ago, uh, uh, in climate research, there were uh, very high hopes based on this uh, uh, OCO probe of NASA, the satellite that should have given us a very uh, fine resolution um, image of CO2 emissions on Earth, except that it blew up uh, on, you know, when it was, when it was uh, fired, it exploded, and there is no money uh, to replace it. We are without, for the foreseeable future, of any means of understanding whether actually the climate change models uh, are predicting something that can be uh, verified or falsified rather by uh, good data. Because today most of the climate change models are econometric models and it's garbage in, garbage out. There is very, very little uh, uh, worldwide data available. So, another uh, important element of uh, uh, spine networks is going to be uh, the machine-to-machine -machine communication index, uh, which means that uh, just as in the Large Hadron Collider, 99% uh, of the data is thrown away based on decision of machines, and only very seldom something very important and interesting is brought to the attention of a given physicist uh, or a research scientist. The same way uh, as uh, when you drive on a highway, uh, the only reason you realize that your mobile phone is constantly chatting with uh, the cell towers is because it is interfering through your radio and you start uh, to, to hear this chatter. Uh, well, uh, the vast majority of machine talk is going to occur at a level that we will not realize and we will not want to realize. Uh, and the filtering capability to bring up uh, to our level the most important events and occurrences will be a crucial characteristic of this. Um, our cars are incredibly rich in sensory opportunities. And, and these machines are not blind anymore. There is on sale today a car model, the Volvo V70, that will alert you if uh, your distance uh, with the car in front of you is decreasing at a rate 
in excess of what the car believes is safe. And it will tell you, please brake. And if you don't, the car will brake, even if you didn't do anything. Uh, because it has been decided that it's better to decrease the probability of an impact, uh, even if there could be unforeseen side effects and consequences. Uh, the uh, forthcoming revolution of robotic autonomous cars, which has been kick-started by the American uh, uh, DARPA, uh, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, uh, is going to be very important. And it is uh, the right time today to start thinking of what the insurance policies are going to be, for example, to cover for accidents that are, are caused by two robotic cars. And who is going to pay, who is uh, going to be playing, and so on. Now, there are uh, companies that are small or big uh, who are working on this of all kinds and they are having fun making crazy uh, declarations on their websites, building alliances, uh, uh, getting out research papers, uh, organizing conferences, sometimes good, sometimes boring, uh, or actually uh, declaring like uh, the CTO of Intel did uh, a year ago at their most important developers forum that they have a 10-year roadmap to blanket the planet with a 7 trillion node network. And uh, my, my company is uh, concerned with uh, developing what is the uh, uh, robust, concurrent, scalable uh, software platform in the back end to sustain this kind of data reporting uh, capability that the spine networks will need. So the reason why we need this and we dearly need this is because the Anthropocene in the past 10,000 years radically changed the planet. Uh, if uh, the global biomass of terrestrial vertebrates was 99% uh, composed of what we call wildlife and 1% of what we call uh, humans, pets, cattle, whatever else, 10,000 years ago, year, years later, an idling uh, in terms of geological time or even biological time is exactly the reverse. This is obviously unsustainable and it is at the same time very surprising that the way we built our material society and technological society hasn't that much changed. Uh, we are just taking sticks which are now x-ray lithography uh, to draw lines on stuff which are now our chips and then putting them in the oven uh, and taking them out, but nothing really changed. Uh, just around the horizon, however, there are some indications that there can be radically new methods in order for us to be able and understand how the technium can uh, grow further by orders of magnitude while uh, we can actually derive a technological society that has a, a, a radically smaller footprint uh, towards the, the biological world uh, because uh, if we don't adapt uh, nature will don't care will, is not going to care nature will just keep going and, and, and we will we will all die um, a few examples of, of, of current uh, applications uh, and uh, these are uh, things like uh, CO2 sensors which Twitter and Google map social energy meters so that you have uh, social pressure to uh, emotionally display and uh, groupthink through uh, what uh, your energy footprint should be, um, understanding what is your noise environment, for example, and you're welcome to take this from the uh, App Store, uh, we made it free. Uh, or uh, future applications which I've already mentioned, uh, robotic cars, for example, 4G communication, uh, smart grids, the quantify itself, measuring our own physiology, preventing damage rather than curing damage, being able and confront in a social manner what is going on around us. Now, uh, just like for many, the singularity is not the, a, a very clear uh, membrane, but a process. Uh, uh, the uh, oncoming new uh, networks are not going to uh, pop uh, out uh, by themselves. We have to actively work on them and understand how to deploy uh, 
uh, how to how to design, how to deploy, how to manage, and actually even more importantly, how to substitute.